Hello friends, so today we would be talking about the structure of maltose. So in the earlier lectures, what we discussed is, we discussed about glucose and we discussed about fructose. Okay, na? Ye do structures ke bare mein we did talk about and we should be knowing that ye dono jo structures hai, okay, they are hexosugar. They are hexosugar because they have six carbons with them. Okay? And to be more specific, if I talk about this is a aldehyde sugar. This is a aldehyde sugar and this is a ketone sugar. Structure map the glucose made that we added a aldehyde group to the first carbon and we added a ketone group to the second carbon. So this becomes a aldehyde glucose and sorry aldehyde sugar and this becomes a ketone sugar. Okay, so altogether we can term them as the hexo sugar. Okay, we did talk about the Fisher projection and we did talk about the Hewat projection. One more important thing to know about the structure is that fructose, this sugar is present in the fruits. It's a fruit sugar. Aapko fructose jo hai, which is a hexo sugar that is going to be present in the fruits. Okay, so all your fruits would be containing fructose. But there's an exception. If I talk about grapes, so grapes is the one which consists glucose in it. Grape is the one which contains glucose in it. Okay? So, jitne bhi fruits available hai, un sab ke andar aapko fructose sugar dekhne ko milega. But agar main grapes ki baat karta hoon, to grapes ke andar jo sugar aapko dekhne ko milega, that is termed as the glucose, not the fructose. Okay? So now we'll talk about what we'll do is we'll add up glucose plus glucose. We'll add up glucose plus glucose and to be more specific, I'll put it alpha glucose and alpha glucose and then we'll make a structure which is termed as maltose. We'll make a structure which is termed as maltose. So it is going to have a monomer of alpha glucose and another monomer of alpha glucose and that is going to give me a dimer of maltose so maltose is made up of two monomers of alpha glucose okay so this is a monosaccharide this is a monosaccharide and this is a disaccharide a monosaccharide monosaccharide and a disaccharide so for this we need to draw the Hewat projections of glucose I need to draw down the two Hewat projections of glucose that would lead to the formation of a, another structure that is maltose. Okay? So, so, we'll start with the structure. So, I need to draw down the Hewat projections. So, Hewat projection banane ke liye, we have talked about what is the criteria how should we make the structure so I'll I'll put down the structure directly here okay so there's a carbon 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 we have a carbon here we have a carbon here then there's an oxygen okay and then we have a CH2OH here okay I'll, I'll number the carbons again I'll put it as one two three four five six there are the six carbons okay so what we had is the first carbon tha ko pata first carbon pe uh, OH pull ho ke aa gaya tha so i'll please put h oh then second carbon is h oh and the third carbon has h and oh on the inner side theek hai fourth carbon ki baat karte hai to fourth carbon pe agar aap dekhoge to fourth carbon is going to be like oh h theek hai so this is as the hydrogen is on the top so this becomes alpha glucose this becomes alpha glucose so as I mentioned ki maltose banane liye mereko alpha glucose chahiye so this is one monomer of alpha glucose I'll draw another monomer of alpha glucose as well Take so I'll put on the structure okay and the same thing, all the components are going to be same because it's the same sugar I'm talking about. Now the change will 
this is OH, this is H, everything else, okay, I need to put DH here. Everything else is going to be same. So, here I have another molecule of alpha glucose. So, there are two molecules of alpha glucose. Now, when these two molecules get together, when these two molecules get together, this is the first carbon here. We'll number the carbon here as well. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so now what happens is when I need to combine them up, when I combine them up, so what I need to do is, these two things, okay, there's going to be bonding between these two. So how is it possible? How is it going to happen is, so OH and OH, there's a release of a water molecule. There's a release of a water molecule when two molecules of alpha glucose bind. Take a happy OS time, happy OS time. So there's a release of water molecule and there's a bonding between the first carbon and the fourth carbon. Take it. So as there's a bonding between the first carbon and the fourth carbon, this is termed as alpha. Both the structures are alpha glucose. So this is alpha. 1, 4 and the bonding is glycosidic bonding or linkage 1, 4 because the fourth carbon from this glucose and the first carbon from this glucose are getting together and they are forming a glycosidic bond okay that is the reason it is termed as the 1, 4 glycosidic bonding or glycosidic linkage okay so this structure now, we cannot term it as alpha glucose, alpha glucose. This structure now is known as maltose altogether. So we need to remember that when we form the molecule of maltose, there's a release of a water molecule leading to the formation of a alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonding or linkage. Okay? Is it clear? Okay, so we'll keep this much for the lecture. In the next lecture, we'll talk about the another topic. Take care.